last seven o'clock. Let me show you guys what I accomplished today. I'm really proud of myself. I'm on season one, episode 11 of What's Wrong with Secretary Kim. I didn't know like K-drama episodes are like an hour and 15 minutes long. And this is probably one of the best K-dramas I've seen. Right before this, crying a little bit. Not gonna lie. I've only seen three K-dramas my whole life. The first one was uh, the guy who was an alien. Didn't really understand why after 400 years on Earth, he couldn't really speak another language. I liked it though. And then I watched Descendants of the Sun, which had just the craziest, most bizarre ending ever. And then this is my favorite so far. A couple of things I don't understand. This thing with like beautiful girls always just somehow tripping and falling into the arms of a guy. This seems to happen a lot more than usual in this drama. I mean, usually you see it happen like two or three times in a whole series, but this is like every single episode, she trips. Either she can't walk right or this guy is just too good looking. Is that True. When, when people walk by really good looking people, do you, do you tend to trip more? Anyway, today's been great. Just staying in all day, watching dramas and kind of detoxing a little bit. A lot of people ask me how I stay fit even though I eat so much food. I try to as much as I can go on like an intermittent fast. Like today, all I did was drink yogurt and a little too late to go out for dinner. So grab some cereal. Eating the cereal with strawberry milk. I need to meet my fruit requirements of the day. And of course I am eating Magic Spoon, the sponsor of this video. I told you guys, cereal, my ultimate guilty pleasure, but as I'm growing older, as much as I wanna eat this stuff, so much so that when I walk through a grocery store, I don't go down the cereal aisle. Cause as good as it tastes, I'd rather not fill my body with completely empty sugary calories. Well, it's not like I don't want to, I, I just, I just can't anymore. So even before Magic Spoon became a sponsor of mine, I was actively looking for something that tasted really good, had really high protein, because I'm trying to do about hundred grams of protein a day, you know, to keep these from sagging. And before this, I was just drinking protein powder shakes. You know how gross that is? Mm. The new peanut flavor is amazing. Especially with strawberry milk. And when Magic Spoon sent me a few boxes to try, that was it. And this is not the first time I'm skipping dinner and just only eating cereal. I should do this quite a lot. And this thing, each serving, zero grams of sugar, four grams of net carbs, 11 grams of protein, and only 110 calories. It's gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low carbs, no GMO. And for those of you who are on the keto, which I told you guys a lot of my friends are, I tried doing that, but I love dumplings and noodles a little too much. It's keto friendly. And now besides the four original awesome flavors of blueberry, frosty, fruity, and cocoa, we got cinnamon and peanut butter. I'm eating peanut butter now. I had cinnamon for breakfast. Mm. This is my favorite. I absolutely love this. So if you guys want to give this a try, you can now actually build your own variety box with whatever flavor you want. Highly suggest this one. Finally, this is why I love working with this company. They have a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for whatever reason, get your money back. So click on the link below and use my promo code dumpling or just go to magicspoon.com slash dumpling. All right, go tonight, finish that entire series. Also, if you guys have any good K-drama recommendations, let me know in the comments below. In return, here are my C drama recommendations. Long Shabang, Long Shabang R. I think the, I think the, the English for that is um, Nirvana on Fire. Something like that. One and two. Joy and Life. King's Avatar, Love O2O. If you want to see some really cringy kissing, where you can watch Gong Gong or uh, Yeast Palace if you just want to ball your eyes out. I sat for like a week. Anyway, tomorrow will be a normal food day. See you then. Stayed over at Hyundai last night. You guys ready for some breakfast? I know a good place. Let's go. My favorite K pop group, Twice, went here, and they said it's good, so I'll let you know. This is what we're here for the fresh sirloin pork cutlet and cheese pork cutlet. All right, I'm getting the combo. That should be pretty good for breakfast, number one. No, I have no idea how a restaurant gets a K-pop group to, to go over there. I mean, I don't think they pay them money because it would be an exorbitant amount. But this place, it's literally next door to uh, where I was staying last night. So I want to come here and try it out. Huh. 20-30%. I still don't know what the 20-30% mean, but the 20% one is a strawberry sauce. The 30% one is a banana sauce. And that one tastes really, really good. All right, let's talk about the visuals. That looks pretty darn good. Huge, fresh pork cutlet, beautifully fried, nice and juicy in the middle. And this is the cheese cutlet. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is sick. 
golden brown outside, melty mozzarella cheese. Oh goodness, this is a pork cheese lover's dream. I promise I'm not saying this because I like twice, but this is delicious. This is really delicious. Pork, clean flavor, super juicy. The outside, just such a subtle, quiet whisper of a crunch. Mm. It's just so remarkably gentle and tender. Try a little banana sauce. I love this. Gotta eat a cheese one first before it's the cheese settles. Look at that cheese seismic movement right there. Oh, I think that's a bit of mustard. I am so happy with this place. If I was twice, after I ate here the first time, I'd like to come back twice. Mm. That is crazy good. I also got the cutlet without cheese. That's perfection. It's amazing how delicious pork cutlet is in this country. Just tremendous. So juicy. And who knew? A little banana cutlet sauce, perfect with this. Also this whole thing, about $8. She's not wrong. So here's how my stupid mind works. I'm there eating a delicious cheese cutlet sandwich. And as I'm eating, oh, what is this? Dun, dun. What I, anyway, what I was saying was that um, pork sandwich, and then I was thinking McRib for some reason. Then I was thinking, I wonder if McDonald's Korea has some new sandwiches to try. I'm gonna go to McDonald's after I try this out. I just passed by this place. They handed me a flyer. This looks really good. Dun, dun noodles. Let's go. So this place serves dun, dun noodles. If you guys don't know what that is, it's one of my favorite noodles in the world. It's spicy and numby, great citron flavor. I and mean, this place just opened two weeks ago. Is it coincidence where the one video where I started talking about a K-pop group, every food I got so far, just come with great visuals. This thing? Mmm, it smells good. Peppercorn, they give you uh, black vinegar and peppercorn, and also hot oil if you want to add any more to this. This is really good. All the flavors are on point. I don't think this needs any more um, numbing powder. It's already pretty nummy. The noodles set this place apart as well. It's really al dente noodles. Mm. Broth is creamy. Superb nutty flavor. Very spicy, definitely don't need any more hot oil either. I would recommend some Chinese vinegar. Texture of the broth is actually pretty perfect. Very velvety and silky. Mm. That did it, add this 100%. Now it becomes something I'm familiar with and something that I absolutely adore. It makes me very, very, very happy that I walked by this place. It's actually pretty chilly outside. Perfect day for this. You're definitely gonna feel warm and happy when you step outside. They give you a ton of meat and also cha tai preserved veggies, along with little bits of spinach. Mm. Ah, superb. Almost don't even want McDonald's after this. Almost. That's the anti-McDonald's. Okay, so the only food items that are new to me that I didn't try in the last video, this is it. Two burgers, uh, a pie, a McFlurry, and a couple of ices. This 
is the 1955 hash brown burger. I feel like I'm talking about a car. 1955 Corvette, it's a classic. Notice the plump tomatoes, the lettuce, the cheese, the hash browns on the burger. So this thing, caramelized onions, lettuce, tomatoes, beef patty with a hash brown in the middle. I feel like McDonald's have this tendency to change like one minor thing about a burger where they go and uh, they mix a couple of their food items together and they call it like, oh, brand new. We put a hash brown in it, even though it was left over from breakfast. They do this a lot. What's good about it is the patties. You see that? Actually nice and juicy. What's bad is the hash brown. I, I was kind of, I was joking when I said, leftover from breakfast and now served in this burger, but I'm 90% sure that's what they did. It's so interesting to take a bite of delicious, juicy, beefy burger and feel like there's a crispy layer of cardboard right above it. That's what this hash brown does. We're just gonna remove this cardboard. And we're just gonna transform this burger back to a 1955 classic. No hash brown. Oh, that's a good burger. With the hash brown gone, you can actually taste how good this beef is. This beef is tremendous. It almost tastes dry aged, 100%. Way superior quality of beef they're using here in Korea. Plum icy. It's not bad. It actually tastes like fresh plums in there. This is where it's at. The pear icy at McDonald's, must try. Korean pears are already some of the best in the world. This icy tastes just like a Korean pear. Mmm, oh, it's so good. This is the shrimp beef burger. That's what I'm talking about with McDonald's. Last time I had the shrimp burger, this time they, <laughs> they just surf and turfed it. So now it's the shrimp beef burger. It is a completely new burger. Beef patty is definitely not as good as the 1955 burger. And the shrimp, even though there's a few pieces in there, it tastes kind of like rice cakes. I mean, it's got the nice crispy shell, but other than that, really not much to it. Burger-wise, stick with the classic. Get the 1955 one. All right, next couple items I'm pretty excited about. This is the Oreo Banana McFlurry. Amazing. Mm. I will come here just for this. Oh, absolutely delicious. Crunchy Oreos, of course, that's good. Mm. I have to get to this before it becomes too cold. Taro pie. So good. Oh, so warm, so crusty. This is another mystery I can't really figure out when it comes to McDonald's. They refuse to bring a lot of these great tasting pies to the US. They're still just sticking with the apple pie. Ah, this taro pie is divine. Mmm, the taro is so warm and creamy. This is a great pie that really should make his way to the West. You know, journey to the West. Great book. Oh, got an idea. Some more ice cream. Put that on my pie. That guys was a bite of banana Oreo taro. McDonald's pie. I think it just brought, brought a tear to my eye. So, conclusion from this review. Burger-wise, McDonald's got a little lazy. No true updates. The new burgers are really just new burgers. But it is worth coming here for this and this and the taro pie. You know what? I was walking here and I passed by Burger King, McDonald's competition. They seem to have some pretty interesting burgers cooking up over there, so. <clears throat> Let's head over there. Maybe it's coincidence that there's a seafood restaurant right beside Burger King that's selling crab because, check this out. Burger King has a new burger? A crab burger. Chili crab tong shrimp. Chili crab burger, chili crab tong shrimp burger. What the heck, this is insane. Let's get this. Whoa, this just looks intense. 
Spicy too. Red crab X, red crab whopper, yes. Oh, I'm gonna get this. Chili crab cheese fries. What? Cheese Diablo sauce? Diablo sauce. Look at this. Only person here. So excited about this. I think this might be the first chili crab burger in the history of fast food burgers. What happened, Singapore? How'd you let Korea get the jump on you? Chili crab burger? Shut out of that. But what I really like about Burger King is the fact that they didn't shrink their burgers. I mean, they are ginormous here. Or, you know, regular, regular size. But McDonald's, their burgers all shrunk. It's like they hired Honey, I Shrunk the Kids guy and just borrowed his shrink ray. <laughs> that is a burger. I feel like Burger King and McDonald's will be like that scene from Crocodile Dundee where somebody pulls out a little knife and Dundee's like, call that a knife? This is a knife. And McDonald's, this is a burger. Whew. Like real shrimp hanging here. This is insane. Just insane how crazy this looks and how delicious this looks. Unfortunately, while I was filming, one piece of the shrimp did fall. Moment of silence for the fallen shrimp. I'm almost terrified of biting into this burger. Pretty much had to dislodge my jaw a little bit. One of the shrimp fell out. That is good shrimp. That shrimp does not taste like it came from Burger King. <clears throat> mm hmm I taste the crab now. First of all, beef patty is amazing. That really nice flame broil flavor that Burger King is known for. This patty is not as juicy as the McDonald's one I just had, but still very tender. But it definitely wins out with this crab patty. As even though it's not chunky pieces of crab meat, and it's kind of mixed in with the dough and the fried patty. The flavor is 100% there. You taste the crab. Wow, I like the shrimp patty at McDonald's that you don't really even taste the shrimp. The crab flavor is great. This is the chili crab fries. I think it's just fries with chili sauce. No. Oh. Wow, you do taste the crab. I gotta hand it to Burger King. They set out to make something taste like crab. It tastes like crab. This is the Diablo sauce. I think it's the same sauce as on, on these fries right now. I think Burger King should chill a little bit calling that thing Diablo. Cause this sauce, it's at most a Casper. All right. I would not give this a demon level label. This is a chili crab Whopper. Oh. Wow. Massive beef patty with this chili crab patty in the middle. It's the same crab patty. I'm getting really good crab flavor. It's good. But again, kind of disappointed in this beef patty. It's a little juicy, but not nearly what McDonald's was with their 1955 burger. I just got this because I miss it. This is the truffle whopper that I had last time. This thing smells like a first class flight to Tokyo. Mm. My favorite burger from Burger King. Bacon, huge beef patty, and they use actually good mushrooms here. And the truffle flavor is outrageous. Oh, that's definitely my favorite Whopper. All right, in terms of creativity, Burger King 100% wins out. Chili crab burger, where the best feature I feel like are the individual pieces of shrimp that are so tender. You know, it doesn't taste like it came from a fast food place. Crab burger, actually tastes like crab. Congratulations. Only knock on Burger King, the beef patty, the 1955 McDonald's burger beef patty is probably one of the best fast food burger patties I've ever had. It's delicious. Tastes better than the Whopper. I mean, I feel like Burger King here needs to somehow improve on the Whopper. Maybe use some selection of higher quality beef. So in terms of quality, I'm sorry, Burger King. McDonald's knocked you off the throne. This is really good though. Mm. It's like some sort of diet lemon water. Anyway, guys, that's my review of the new items I found at McDonald's versus Burger King. 
Hope you found this video helpful. And as always, all the other restaurants I went to, the locations, everything listed down below for you. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again.